Final quick one to you. Um, I know that beach that you're standing on very well. It's a beautiful part of the world down there in Dorset. Um, when do you think that you might have that down in Poole and Dan Visa as well up in, uh, in Cumbria? Thanks both for talking to us this morning. Here's Nick with a look at this morning's weather. Morning, Nick. Give us some good news. Thanks, Nick, and to you. It's uh, 23 minutes past eight now. Uh, antibody tests, which show whether or not someone has had coronavirus, will be rolled out to NHF, NHS and care staff from next week. But what happens if your test comes back positive, even if you didn't have any symptoms? Well, our medical correspondent got an article yesterday, um, and I'm very intrigued to hear about your experience. So, ha have you had coronavirus? Because your antibody test came back positive. So, does that mean you've actually had the virus? our medical correspondent. Um, it's just approaching half past eight. We're uh, on until nine o'clock this morning on BBC One. After us, it's the Andrew Marr Show. Andrew joins us this morning. Double teamed from 2002, a classic. <laughs> and uh, and oh, actually, Whoopi Goldberg was in one called Eddie in 1996. I think I do know that one. Ah. I'm, ju I'm just glad Seema was here, because at least she knew one. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that Man great. Can't jump. It's great film. Great movie. Super movie. So uh, maybe there'll be another one. Who knows? Holly, thanks very much. Thank you, uh, Holly Hamilton, who's uh, had the sport for us this morning. It's uh, 8.38 now. Um, hospices are at the forefront of the battle with COVID-19, of course, continuing to care for the most vulnerable people in society while also trying to ease the burden on the NHS. But the pandemic has dramatically changed the way they deliver that vital support and it's also hitting them hard financially. Breakfast's John Maguire joined a team of hospice nurses in the southwest of England as they visited the home of one-year-old Finlay and his family. Now, in a statement, the Treasury acknowledged the importance of hospices and said it had pledged a support package of up to £200 million. Let's speak to Tracy Bleakley. Tracy. Um, good morning. Tell me, good morning. Tell me how hospices have been affected by this pandemic while also sticking to the restrictions and socially distancing. Mm -hmm. I think you might adapt some of those new measures now. our medical correspondent. Um, it's just approaching half past eight. We're uh, on until nine o'clock this morning on BBC One. After us, it's the Andrew Marr Show. Andrew joins us this morning.